Like, that's what makes it uh, AMVs fascinating to me because, like, that's what AMVs are now. People didn't make these type of AMVs when I was making AMVs back in 2008. The kids, the kids nowadays have no attention span, all right? They don't appreciate these two minute YouTube dedication yeah, yeah, but to the media. The AMVs they make now are sick, though. I'm not even gonna know, lie. What's going on? So, I have a different video for today my friend mo my good friend mo made his first ever video t today he made an amv i didn't get to see it yet what i wanted to do as his first ever video obviously he doesn't really have any video editing experience and amvs kind of hold a special place in my heart because i actually got started in video editing in the whole film production world and you know post-production and making animations all that i got my initial interest started back in middle school when i got my start making amvs myself i used to make naruto amvs to like lincoln park or evanescence or system of a down i actually still have those videos to the to this day it was actually me making those amvs in windows movie maker when i was like 11 or 12 that led me down the path to me being a nerd making editing videos and people's films and short films and animations on computers now it's what got me interested in filmmaking and art digital art today so it kind of holds a special place in my heart i want to say like 2007 is when i started all the way to 2024 i've learned a lot when it comes to video editing and now i actually find myself being a professional video editor and motion graphic artist so what i wanted to do was hop on a call with him watch his first ever video he ever edited and then see it what kind of pointers i could give if any maybe it's amazing i don't even know maybe it's just perfect but just kind of just look at the his starting point because this could be his starting point maybe 20 years from now he could be you know editing for hollywood movies or making his editing his own anime or something it's just interesting to see like how, where some people start and how i started the same way back then and not even just to mention amvs have evolved back in the day they used to be windows movie maker slideshows now people are making gojo fan cams that are like flashy and fast paced and actually have some really good editing way better editing than 12 year olds had back in 2008 let's hop on this call with mo watch this amv and just see what a professional editor like myself can give some pointers maybe some pointers maybe some uh, editing tricks and just just give my two cents on like how i think it is and what rooms for improvement i can give them and like you know just just watch it i just want to watch it. what's up mo that's freaking that's freaking hello this is Mo. I made my first ever AMV yesterday. I've never edited or anything before, but you know, been watching AMV since I was young. The only software that I used was um, DaVinci Resolve because I read online that it was a good one and it was free. So, so I downloaded. Wait, that. wait. So is that that's what you use for this one? Yeah, I use DaVinci Resolve. So already, that's already like a good starting place because DaVinci Resolve is actually like. I don't know if it's industry standard, but it's so it's actually a really powerful thing. And again, I don't know if you heard me talking earlier, but like I was using Windows Movie Maker and people were using iMovie back in the day. And DaVinci Resolve is what they use for some Hollywood level movies now. And it's free. Yeah, I, I feel that, but I feel like I still used it based as if it was Windows Movie Maker because all I did was copy and paste and like line stuff up because I was like, this is it's simple enough for me to understand all right as a day one guy so no i get it i get it yeah, yeah. my first tip though is davinci resolve is actually amazing an amazing thing so you can actually stick with it i don't know what kind of okay. limitations the free version versus the paid version has i think the paid version has like either more effects in it you can upload up no i think you can export up to 4k or something i don't know you'd have to look into it but the free version is actually really capable so i think you're fine hey man spoiler warning gear 5 came out two years ago <laughs> i'm weak so, Okay, okay, let me share my screen. All right, cool, I'm just gonna full screen it and start it. You really wanna know who Superman is? <laughs> Watch this. Was that not clean though? All right. Okay, okay, actually what I will say is that, you know, you syncing an impact hit to an impact of the song is actually a good editing technique. I, like, like, I don't know if everybody knows that, but like when you do stuff like that, it. And if you do it often in a video, mm -hmm. I feel like the production value just kind of goes up because it's like it's more dynamic that way. There's different techniques where you can match the video and the audio. And if you can do stuff mm -hmm. like that, it kind of makes both of them cohesive. Does that make sense? Like instead of one being a song and the other just being an anime, you know, you're putting you're putting them together into an AMV. 
right? Yeah. So that's a good technique that you already knew, probably from watching, you know. From Gojo. watching, bro. I'm a fan. I'm a yeah, fan. Yeah, from watching and, Gojo and, fan cams on TikTok. I can't have no sympathy for fuck, nigga. Please don't hit my phone if it ain't about no commas. Keep the peace like Dalai Lama, big body. Hummus. Okay. Back oh, wait, wait, okay, okay. I have a question. Yeah. Is there a reason you wanted to do, like, multiple animes instead of just, like, one? I, cu- I couldn't decide which anime specifically to do. So I was mm-hmm. like, you know what? I'll just do as many clips as possible. Because, I don't know. If it's... I used a bit of Demon Slayer. I used One Piece. I JJK. used Jujutsu Kaisen. You said One Piece, uh, uh, Attack on Titan. You used like and I used four. Naruto. I used Naruto. yeah, Naruto. Uh, I used five basically. Yeah. Attack on Titan, Naruto, One Piece. Uh, I think my tip would be to probably keep it to one anime unless there is mm-hmm. a specific theme throughout multiple animes you're trying to com- like try trying yeah, to portray. Does that I, make sense? I, I I tried to keep it a theme across the entire thing, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, Some yeah, of it yeah. was just because the words were like, oh, that lines up with that one. Yeah, scene. yeah, yeah. What you can do is like, and it looks like you already thought about this, is like, if you had like a specific theme throughout the whole, like all five animes that kind of connect them into like one cohesive like video. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I mean, I can't really find a theme that connects all five of the animes, but like, you know how like a lot of animes have that, you know, fight for my friends, you know, power of friendship type, yeah. type of trope. Like that's, mm-hmm. a speci- like, that's a specific theme that like multiple animes have. You know, Mm -hmm. so like if you had a bunch of friendship clips to tie all of the different animes together, that's, you know, that's just an example. I'm not saying that would make a compelling anime because like I don't really care about the power of friendship personally. (laughs) But is what you have no friends or no? That's not what I'm saying. That's Uh, that's 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 why you're here. That's exactly why you're here. Get it? That forty? Okay, yeah, yeah. You see another? That that's a that's a type of sinking sinking that you did. You know, forty. You know, got the gun on him. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I feel like you had something going here, right? Yeah. So this is like a soft part in the song, right? Uh-huh. And you had a soft part in the anime, right? This is a slow yeah. part in the anime where it's like, you know. Yeah. You know, he's dancing in the field and he's kind of slashing. There's like, no, no, there's no of, impact, basically. No, no, no. Okay, okay. So what I was going for is because um, the album KOD, right, is about um, the difference between like what's actually happening and what is being shown, right? The way I was viewed the scene was he's motivating himself by what his dream was, was to like retire on the beach. Yeah, and he's yeah, having yeah. flashbacks to it. And it's also the part where um, he's like, it's a hype song, but then he also starts going like, "Oh, I'm feeling alive." Blah blah blah. There, this is all one clip, and I didn't want to find multiple clips of him, so I just oh, so that's what you wanted to do. I just use the one no, but, fight scene. But what I was gonna say is like the build up works. It was just like there was just no impact when like the build up stopped. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like there was literally just like it just went to like the next thing. Hopefully you can hear it. I don't know. If, yeah, I can uh, hear. It. I have the okay. audio on on my side. Whoa, yeah, it's literally just like it just goes to the next thing instead of having some yeah. sort of impact. Right? Because he literally says, "Whoa, suddenly!" All right, all right, all right. So that's what you were going for. Yeah, like a quick transition back to gold mm-hmm. or like the money, because that's a uh, one piece of gold, right? And the entire thing is about money right now. Yeah. It's not even about like you know finding an impact for with him because it, it w- the the thing you did right was like you're thinking about like how these clips are. Th- going into the lyrics and the like the them the theme of the song which is uh-huh. great so like i feel like your mental is there it was just more about the clip placement because i feel like like nothing happened here pretty much so if you yeah. i'm just saying if you wanted to improve on like your mm-hmm. next amv you could think about like you know some sort of impactful clip happening on the impact of the song like like i said before like you had like two other synchroni- synchronizing moments that could have been like mm-hmm. another one pretty much yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. But, I mean, your mind's already in the right place, which is, like, half the battle anyways, so. Natural, actual, factual, naps and shit. Bougie still do ratchet shit. Not afraid to pass the clip before I make the ratchet spit. Blah. Motivate. 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 Yeah, you Motivate. see, that was another one. So, I feel like the the biggest takeaway I'm getting, especially this is impressive for you um, mm. in your first video, is, like, you're having a lot of, like, synchronizational moments. Mm-hmm. Like, literally just, like, you know, synchronizing his bow tie to, like, when he said blow, right? I just remember I had this, like, epiphany when I was, like, 
13 mm-hmm. or something where I was like, oh, if you synchronize stuff to the music, it's even cooler. And then like from then on, I like I made it a mission to like have the most I called them. I didn't know what the word synchronization meant, so I just called them like you know having the right timing because I was I was I was a dumb little. Yeah, that kid, makes so. sense. <laughs> yeah, that was the main thing I was going for, but um, yeah, I guess it is an entry level technique. No, it's not entry level. Like, it's not even the fact that it's entry level. It's like, it's it's versatile throughout all levels. Like, you see stuff like this in like Hollywood movies and like big budget um, what do you call it? Like music videos. <laughs> You see stuff mm-hmm. synchronized all the time. Like that's just what helps audiences like connect the video to the uh, the audio, pretty much. You know, and it makes mm-hmm. it fun to enjoy. And so like like that's why if you go on TikTok and you search up like I keep going back to Gojo fan cams because that's the most recent one I made or not. What exactly is a fan cam? Uh, no, a fan like cam a- is really just like what okay what kids do is like they have CapCut right, and they might have another uh-huh. app, but I know CapCut has a lot of templates. And what they do is they find a bunch of Gojo clips. They have, they find a template, and people custom make templates, right? And the templates have a lot of these flashy synchronized beat hits, right? But instead of it, like, this edit is pretty slow, which is fine, right? But, like, what these templates do is they have fast cuts. Like, it's literally, like, every single beat that it, like, mm-hmm. cuts to another. Like, you've been watching them, right? Yeah, I've, I've seen them. I, I, I've all seen, like, the template uploads. Yeah, yeah. The editing style with fan cams is, like, they literally switch clips with, like, lighting. Uh, and uh, they have, like, flashes like, on beat hits. Flashes, zoom yeah, in. Yeah, like, zoom, how like, things bumps. fade in and out. Yeah, yeah, and, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, like you've seen them. Yeah, like bumps yeah. and stuff you know, like, like that. You know, like when you send a message on iMessage and you can like make it explode onto the screen. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like, yeah, 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 exactly. That's how the yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's actually what I like. I love that you mentioned that because like that's what makes it uh, AMVs fascinating to me because like that's what AMVs are now. Like mm-hmm. I cut, like I just call them fan cams, but they uh, they are essentially when it comes down to like the anime part of it when they have Gojo or like you know they're they're basically AMVs and people didn't make these type of amvs when i was making amvs back in 2008 you know in 2008 it was more slower paced like this but it was still Mm -hmm. cool you know to like you know watch stuff like this too because it's like you're just seeing you're just watching the anime it's kind of like a highlight reel just with like other song yeah yeah that's just the kids the kids nowadays have no attention span all right they all have adhd with their 15 second uh tiktok edit that's true they don't don't appreciate these two minute youtube dedication to the media the amvs they make now are sick though i'm not even gonna lie they they, they, but i mean the thing is okay okay but the thing is it's it's all templatized right so it's like Mm -hmm. they're not going into davinci resolve or at least a lot of them aren't going into davinci resolve and like putting dedication into it some of them are i've seen like some of them have like the lyrics on the video and they they make a typography that, type of thing out of it too that's something that i'm trying to do and like how people are able to like add words like that zoom in across yeah yeah, the yeah. Screen, like, and those are some up. of my favorite edits even as a professional like myself like i'm like somebody needs to hire these people to, to make mm-hmm. them for their brands and shit okay i think i see what you're doing here okay 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 i want to hear your thoughts what were you thinking when you like were like putting these two clips uh, beside each other? Because okay, it's okay. So the song is it, I, it's a pretty cheesy song, but it's, it's about like oh, your motivation for getting money should be uh, something else, right? It's not about all the gold and shit like earlier. Plus, Nanami, like the salary guy who like dies, uh, he spends his entire life trying to work and uh, get a living, right? Yeah. But he comes back to do the right thing type shit. Okay. So um, I switched to that because um, that's how the fight started when he's like, oh, all these people got messed up. And mm. Gear 5 is supposed to be like uh, fighting for the right reason, anime, like classic anime stuff. So that's why I put that in. And like it's a bit off sync too because it shows them all standing first and it doesn't tie up with the get money. So that's what I was trying to fix. That was the ah. main transition that I couldn't like time properly. Okay, okay. So what I just heard was like you tried to do like – you tried to edit in like a thematic one piece yeah. thing with – the song yeah and the problem you had was this clip yeah because um the clip that i was taking it from <clears throat> it had english subtitles so like it would be weird if i just had the english words at the bottom and then it flipped over so i had to like 
work with the shorter clips. If I could extend that one frame of them all standing for a bit longer and then show the transition, it would have been better. Because it's so, technically a still image. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's actually multiple ways. Actually, what's funny is like video editing is actually just a bunch of problem solving. So mm -hmm. one thing you could have done, I'm pretty sure this frame doesn't move. Yeah. So I'm extending it right now. All you had to do was freeze it. Like, I saw this one clip of Invincible. They did a gag where it's like, oh, animators save money by just drawing one frame and just keeping it still. Other times we'll do a wide shot, slowly pan across it. It looks like it's animated, but it's so far away, you don't notice nothing's moving. Huh, I didn't notice that. That literally might have been what they did here. Like, you can technically extend this as long as you want, because I don't think this shot moves at all. That's if you yeah. wanted to fix whatever syncing uh, you wanted to try. Okay, so this is like the second uh, course, right? Yeah. So at the end of it, there's this one thing where um, there's one thing where um, he says "get money," right? Mm -hmm. And I tried to sync it so um, the anime character like opens his mouth a bit, but um, obviously uh, it doesn't tie perfectly with the words "get money" like it yeah. did the first time. Yeah. Is there a way I can like um, I guess so? This is still friend I'm trying to extend a bit. But that other one is him uh, moving, opening his mouth a bit. So I guess, is there a way to um, slow down that one part where he speaks and then keep the rest of the clip the same length? I guess yeah, right. yeah, there is. Like, people do, yeah. um, especially with anime, because, like, what's funny is, like, anime doesn't do exact lip movements. I think it's because of dubbing reasons. Like, what the... I feel like a lot of anime, they animate, like, opening and closing of the mouths and some nuances, but, like, I don't feel like they... I don't think they animate exact words. So what a lot of editors do, especially with fan stuff, or you've seen a bridge stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh! A bridge, yeah, which is like yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, bro, Dragon Ball's Gear Bridge. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what they do is they literally edit the mouth movement to whatever they want, like whatever they dubbed, right? Wait a minute, did you just summon a bunch of monsters in one turn? Yeah, so that's against the rules, isn't it? Screw the rules, I have money. Because anime doesn't do, they don't draw exact like syllables or anything i think american cartoons might when you dub it over to the u.s a lot of anime studios like actually mess with the mouths a bit too because they only have to edit one small part of the frame and they can change the mouths to like a tile better with the english words gotcha, yeah, yeah. right they literally just kind of open their mouth and close their mouth and like that's kind of the animation that they do okay. so it's like what okay. you could do is just like the close open in like those frames and you could just extend it to match whatever you're trying to match so you said you were trying to match him saying motivate you could literally just do that right oh yeah, right. Was, it, was it that one yeah it was that so that, those are his last words right and he's telling like the next gen hey you got it from here right yeah i was trying to make it a bit more depressing about making him say get money but, okay okay uh, okay yeah so that that was my point people when they talk in real life their mouths move more than this right like they yeah. bite their lips they move their tongue blah 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 but i'm mm -hmm. saying like anime what they do this is they literally just, open just their mouth and close it. Yeah, yeah they literally just open the mouth and close it. what so what i'm saying is like you could take the simplified clip and you know more experienced editors would actually just take this you know freeze some parts you know freeze like the closing and then freezing open the opening and then just time right. it to the lyrics they want hi hello my name is david and this is a dialogue test Thank you so, so much. Uh, my main also, point you're there. Gonna, you're not going to like my video. You're not going to like my video. Oh, I'll like it right now. Look, yeah. I'm such a true friend. Oh, what a good guy. What a good guy. So my point here is like you could literally just um synchronize the words because anime has simplified lip movements, which yeah, yeah. I mean, that's more of an intermediate skill, though, I will admit. So for your first video, you have the right you have the right idea. Like you wanted to do a lip syncing moment here. You know, mm -hmm. it's just if you want it to, you know, drive it home a little more, you would have to, you know, freeze some frames and extend some frames to match the get money lyric pretty much. Yeah, and at the end, it's just cool clips. Yeah. All right. Let's shout out to Shikumaru. Yes, sir. I have a feeling you just wanted to throw that in there. <laughs> Bro, that's the last like the last the last ten seconds. I just threw that in there. All right, so honestly, that that was that that wasn't that wasn't bad for your first AMV. Right. That was actually pretty good. Out of out of ten, is it is it a uh, at least a six? Out of ten, I'd give it a six. Actually, yeah, I was gonna say that. Ooh, I was gonna dang. say it before you even said anything. These these are my takeaways. What I like, I feel like. So you're an adult now, right? So you've just consumed a lot of internet media. Yeah. You know, in your time. So mm -hmm. I and I can tell because I feel like 
you've got a lot of ideas from other AMVs. Mostly when it came to like trying to tie in themes and tie in the anime to the song theme and when it and it, the synchronizing of some of the some of the some of the clips to the music. Uh-huh. So those those are the two it was a two or three that I just said. Two those are the ideas that you actually did pretty well. Again, I mean there's improvement like as you as if you want to make more of these, you'll just naturally improve anyways. But you already yeah. got that down. But like what I'm saying is like actually I actually applaud you because you actually have like a good starting off like way better than I'd even say I did back in the day. My biggest two notes I would say is I think you so I understand what when you were trying to tie in the anime clips with the theme of the song. Uh-huh. Um I don't think it came across that well. I didn't feel the theme a hundred percent. So like mm-hmm. if I watched this without your commentary, that probably would have flew over my head. And I feel like mm-hmm. one way you could have dri- like that would have helped you drive at home is if you stuck to one anime. It, it's actually like a pretty intermediate and expert skill level in editing to successfully tie in a theme throughout all these different pieces of media. That's like, that's actually not an easy thing to do. And that actually extends, like it goes beyond knowing the story of the anime. Cause I'm not gonna lie, like story of the anime, knowing that is actually more of a behind the scenes backstory type thing. Cause when we uh-huh. watch AMVs, it's all visual. I'm just knowing what you're showing me. And I feel like there were stronger visual elements you could do to tie in the animes to the theme. And I'm not saying yep. tying in different animes is bad, right? Like it's AMVs, yeah. it's, an, it's an internet video. You can do whatever you want. It's really just for fun, right? But I'm saying like, it might be easier to drive home the thematic theme by sticking to one. Because like, it is actually kind of a hard skill to tie all these together you know my last thing is like this is a slower paced anime or a slower paced amv which is probably fine i know kids these days i sound so old kids these days love faster stuff if you ever get super bored you could actually probably download cap cut and use one of those amv templates and see what comes out of that that's is no, cap cut on your phone or is it on your PC? i know it from on the phone i think they do have a computer th- version though I don't use it, but I th- I do know it's a free thing. It's like it's freemium, right? So it's like you can download it and then pay for micro transactions later. Like just pay for stuff after, right? I think CapCut is a very capable mobile editor. They do uh-huh. they do have like a version for the computer, so you could try it if you want to. I don't use it for the computer. But for me, CapCut is more of like a social media thing. I feel like they are really suited for editing for social media. Like they even have all the formats for it. And they have templates. Like if you just want to make like a quick TikTok or a quick TikTok AMV, you can literally make one in like 10 minutes probably. All you need is the clips and they already have the template for you. And it'll actually look professional. The only thing with templates is like, it's a template and other people have access to it. So your AMV might look similar to somebody else's AMV. That's kind of my whole gripe with templates. Um, but yeah. it is good for getting good stuff fast, right? Uh, what I kind of like about templates, though, is um, at least with the way I view TikTok, right? It's a very like collaborative app. Like people yeah, make exactly. sounds, yeah, and yeah. then like other people can work based off of those sounds. Yeah, exactly. So I just think adding a template is just like the next level. Like they tell you, hey, do this edit. So like you have a cool edit of like JJK, for example, right? Then someone can tie it into like some completely different show, like Bridgerton, Bridgerton, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is like an entirely different theme. So what did we learn? Today, I learned the anime music video industry has evolved greatly since 2006. And with nice. increasing strides in technology, youngsters are now able to do much more with simple tools like CapCut. Were you and taking make notes? Low atten- I wasn't taking notes. Okay, I thought you were taking notes. Oh, is that a kind of clean? Um, I really hope you learned on- a thing or two. The way you can think about editing is like you can alter clips literally any way you want. It's just, it just depends on like your vision and your skill, you know what I mean? But for your first video, yes, I give it a six out of 10. I actually do applaud you, like it actually was pretty good. Apparently people were just starting off really well at video editing, I don't know what's happening. I I sucked with my first video, my first video was ass. (laughs) Good on y'all, man, good good for you. Like I hope you actually stick with this, like whether it's a hobby or like whatever, but. Thank you for actually uh, taking the time to listen to my dumb ass because, again, AMVs have a special place in my heart. That's how I got started, and now I'm doing other shit. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, the AMV was great. Thanks, man. You as well. Uh, gave me some solid tips. I'll whip out another banger this weekend, I guess. <laughs> nice, okay.